Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 8, Coming in Hot. We continue from last episode with Danielle fuming because Alex is pulling away from her. As she passes him to go to her room, she gives him an F you. Later, Danielle and Brian do a shot, and they make up over the whole throwing the clothes thing. Corey tells the confessional that he's so excited for Sam to come, and that Sam is so secure in herself, and not a jealous person. Then he says that he hasn't brought girlfriends around her before, because he doesn't have that many girlfriends. While the house is having a neon party, Danielle is still in an absolutely sour mood. Danielle decides to end the party early for herself and just go to bed. Alex notices this, and he decides to spend his Danielle-less night flirting with Jordan. They all go to bed around 4.30 a.m., except for Brian, who just heated up some Chinese food, walks into Corey's room, and he's like, dude, you gotta try this, and tries to feed Corey a bite, who was sleeping up until that moment. <laughs> Corey's like, no, no, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. <laughs> Danielle wakes up in a better mood, and she cleans the whole house. When she sees Brian, the first thing she does is apologize for throwing all of his stuff. Sam arrives, and after a quick tour and meeting everybody, Corey takes her to his room and tells her all the women have been gunning for him. She says that she's not surprised. Schwartz also arrives, and he talks about his time at the reunion. The house gets ready, and they all go play on moon bikes in the backyard. Corey and Malia are wrestling and messing around. I feel like it's also worth mentioning that she didn't just tackle Corey, but she also tackled Brian as well. And I don't think there's any chemistry between her and Brian at all. But this doesn't stop Sam from being upset about it. Amanda's in her room packing because she's going home early, and Danielle's sitting with her and they're talking about Alex. Danielle, for some reason, thinks that their whole friends with benefits situation is going really well. And she's hoping that after the house, it'll become something more. Meanwhile, Alex is telling Schwartz that it isn't working out, and he just wants to be friends with Danielle. She's getting way too attached, and he doesn't want that. After seeing Malia tackle Corey again, Sam is upset, and she goes to the room with Amanda and Danielle to talk about it. She tells them that she feels like Malia is desperate, and she just keeps flirting with Corey. Danielle even says that she notices that too. Later, Danielle warns Malia to kind of tone it down because Sam is feeling hurt by her and Corey's chemistry. Alex decides this is a great time to pull Danielle aside and break things off. Alex tells Danielle that she always says everything is fine, but then she gets upset and he doesn't understand why. She replies that this is just a fun vacation and she's really enjoying their friends with benefits. He tells her that there's too much emotion involved and he doesn't want that. Danielle tells Alex that it feels like he's trying to make this a teachable moment, and he replies, You're almost 10 years older than me. There's nothing I can teach you. Danielle then tries to end the conversation with a, We're friends with benefits, and it's been amazing, and I want to keep it that way. But Alex finally says, I just want us to work on our friendship. And Danielle is mad, so she gets up and leaves immediately. Kyle sees that Danielle's upset, and he pulls her aside and asks her what's wrong. And she says that she wants to stay friends with benefits with Alex, but he just friend zoned her. Kyle asked Danielle how she would feel if Alex and Jordan hooked up. And she said, that's fine. They'll just have to experience my wrath. Meanwhile, Alex is pulling Jordan aside to tell her that he just friend zoned Danielle. Danielle sees them talking and I swear steam was coming from her ears. They decide since it's Amanda's last night, it's a great time to have a roast. And Amanda starts off with... Well, before we get into the roast, why don't we start things positively? Everybody talk about their favorite part of their vacation. And then Katie gives a speech about new friendships and stuff, and Schwartz interrupts her with a Katie, Katie, Katie. And everyone cheers for him saying her name. Again, as if it wasn't the bare minimum. He didn't even have anything to say. He just wanted to say Katie, I think. Kyle calls Corey an F-boy. And then he says Casey likes to throw around the word trash like she's in waste management. In case you forgot, Casey called Sam trash, and I don't think Sam knows yet. Malia roasts Sam with a light, welcome to the house, I know it's been a lot to tackle. But after seeing the anger in Sam's eyes, I think she decided to back off and be like, alright, cheers to that, let's drink everybody. Katie roasts poor Brian by saying, it's hard to roast someone who's been rejected by every woman here. Brian then roasts Corey by saying, your jewelry is so fake, 
I bet you got her from the same corner you picked up Sam. Alex then roasts Danielle about her snoring and sounding like a fork in a garbage disposal. Then Danielle says, Alex, you almost lived up to your Jesus looks, but instead of turning water into wine, you just whined about me to everybody in the house. And I think wanting to be friends is the biggest joke of all. After the roast is done, Malia pulls Sam to the side and has a conversation with her. And it doesn't really go well. Malia tells Sam, you came in hot even though you don't know me. And then Sam reminds Malia that all the articles were talking about how Corey and Malia had such strong chemistry. And then when Sam came in, they were all over each other. So it just kind of confirmed it for her. Malia says that Corey came in the house saying he was in a situationship, and every girl in the house thought he was fair game. Sam replies, well, if you were in a situationship for eight months, and Malia replies, I wouldn't be, but I respect that you are. And Sam's like, well, clearly you don't. Then they argue for a bit over it, and then the episode ends. What did you guys think of the episode? Do you think Sam is overreacting to Malia tackling Corey? I mean, she did tackle Brian, but she did tackle Corey twice, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I also personally don't believe that flirting with someone is a big deal unless you're, like, overstepping boundaries with, like, physical intimacy of, like, kissing or, like, I really don't think there's anything wrong with hugging either, but that's just me personally. Everybody has their own boundaries. So do you think Malia pushed the boundaries or do you think that they were fine to tackle each other and that Sam is overreacting? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like or dislike this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye guys! Why did I do it out? Bye guys! <laughs>